public sessions. Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at T-Sport Sheffield for a public session. I don't ordinarily do these anymore, but I had a race again voucher that was due to expire and rather than waste it, I thought I'd see how much fun I could have. Got off to a great start as the driver in front of me turns left out of the pits rather than going straight on. There is an arrow on the floor in tape, it's quite worn out, but everyone else had managed to get it right. This one went left. So as I say, I don't ordinarily do public sessions because, quite frankly, they're not that great. But I had the voucher, needed to use it, so here I am. I have got a fast driver, fast driver behind me as well right now, and we're just going to see what we can do. It's always good fun just flying past people as well. With the first flying lap completed, that's also set the tone for this session. But, as you can see, some of the slower drivers are being quite sensible and actually keeping off the racing line, whether they're doing that on purpose or not. We're going to really see a lot of this during this visit. A lot of yellow flags, a lot probably of red flags too. So we're not going to get any particularly quick laps, and we'll just having fun. With whatever that was sorted, we're under yellows. I don't think it was the flag test, I think we'd had more by this point. Someone must have just been going slowly, facing the wrong way, getting in trouble. Car 13 there, closes the gap as I was about to go for it. Thankfully, I was paying attention and managed to avoid them. That wasn't their fault in any way, that was entirely me. I went for the gap, they go to close it off. They wouldn't have known I was there. Back under yellows for another incident already. But unfortunately, those flags turned to red too. Due to the place that the other driver stopped, I can't actually see the lights from here. We'll skip forwards anyway. The other driver started moving, so I'm guessing we've gone to yellow. Thankfully we have, so I will just wait patiently till we go to green and see if I can set myself to cut back for the hairpin. And I've managed to put it off on the brakes. That's not bad for a public session. Two minute lap, pretty good going. I had to lift ever so slightly behind cart 13 there. Would have slowed me down a touch, but we come across the line. 
with a 59.3 tap, considering this is not actually that bad. More traffic, but they're keeping out of the way there. And that's probably the quickest I think I will get in a public session. The 58.8. The carts aren't necessarily the quickest anyway at the minute, but that was a good clear lap with only minor traffic right at the start. Fortunately, we now get a red flag. Once again, we'll skip forwards. The incident's been cleared and we're back released under yellows and we'll wait for them to go green. Straight around the outside and we're coming across the line. It's close, but it's not quite there. It's back down to a Again, the slow drivers keeping themselves well out of the way. And a 58.4. I didn't think I would get that quick, but it turns out I could.
58.7 on another clear lap. There was a little bit of traffic, but I cleared it easily enough, so it wouldn't slow me down all that much. Unfortunately, I've caught car 17 in one of the worst places to catch someone that you don't know their driving ability for. You don't want to be passing a member of the public around the top there if you can avoid it. And I tried to squeeze through the gap, but didn't quite have enough space in that to jump on the brakes. And Leeson has now got in front of me. He had been behind me this entire time, and he's now off to see if he can do anything better. Unfortunately, we didn't realize at this point we were at the end of the session though. On the final timed lap, so we'll have both been delayed crossing the line at the start there. If at any point Leeson had tried to stick his nose up my inside, I would have just let him through, but I think he was pretty happy just sat behind. He certainly didn't make any attempts to try and get past him. And I didn't spot that car in time. And across the line to find I was only fifth fastest. Leeson, even though behind me, he had gone a couple of tenths quicker. I think it was just where we were positioned with the uh, other carts when we were trying to pass them. I didn't spot the yellow flags initially uh, and jumped in front of him there. So that's the end of the first of this public session, but this is a 45 minute video. Well, I was offered an extra session for £8.50 and well, I'm going to turn that down, am I? So we're going to jump in the car for what I'm going to call session 1.5. So we start with Cart again turning left out of the pits. Last time I was in a briefing, you were shown on the map. You go out of the pits and you go straight. You don't turn left. Hopefully they listen to the flags at least. This is a different group, of course. So with that cart straightened up, I get released as well. And initially the cart feels okay. I'm driving at part throttle, obviously, because we're under yellow flags and we're exiting the pits and joining the queue of slow moving carts ahead. But then, when we get to the ramp, obviously, I need to put my foot down to get up the ramp, and the car just starts misfiring really badly. ready to alert James, I've raised my hand, James is there waving the yellow flag, but as we get to this corner, I'm dying, I'm dying. the car actually dies completely. Uh, wave to James, let him know it's cut out, and he's going to come over and see if he can get it started. He was giving up going up the ramp. Hey, half Yeah, yeah, come on. So I get to drive under red flags. Tell that person to stop moving as I'm coming through. Just watch this car for this session, for, for this trip, and have a listen. Yeah, it's really struggling, particularly up the ramps. 
Unfortunately, me crossing the timing line does trigger the session starting. So my lap has started now. And I have to continue under red flags, limping it back to the pits. There's nobody in the upstairs pits. So I've checked with James already. I'm going downstairs. The cart picks up a little bit of pace, but the misfire is still there. It's still very heavy. As I come into the pits, there's still the last of the group waiting to go out. So they put the flags to yellow to release them. The misfire is heavy enough, it's not going to drive up the ramp, so I'll have to run myself. And in a magical moment, whose explanation I assume was cut for time, I could suddenly run very fast. But I happened to do it in front of the meanest lifeguard in Alabama. No running! It's for a movie! God! Here's a quick tour of Team Sport Sheffield for you. That's the lower pits, spectator area, bar on the right, upper pits. And there still seems to be nobody here. But there's Lucy. quickly adjust my seating position and they've gone back to red flag so that I can leave the pits seeing as I'm leaving through the entrance if I can get it past the barrier. Well that's been a rather interesting first lap. All I'm gonna say once again is public sessions. I'm not blaming the public session for it being an open cart, that's just what happens sometimes. Once again, these are rental carts, not finely tuned race carts. As long as they've got four tyres and some working brakes, I generally will drive them, unfortunately. If they're going to be cutting out like that, then they're not. We got a momentary red flag, which immediately went to yellow, which was quite handy there. It meant I didn't have to stop. Also trying to get a feel for this car, knowing it's probably cold as it wasn't used in the last session, and I'll need to work it back up to get up to pace again. Had a little bit of understeer through turn one, and again a little bit through turn two, so I've just taken the opportunity to give a little wiggle and try and warm up the tyres. It felt better through that one. Believe it or not, that was all it needed, just that tiny little wiggle there. get caught at the barrier but still get across the line under one minute so nearly going to the back of the car too as well who unfortunately was being told to put his visor down so he decided to just come to a stop yeah public sessions i'm going to be saying that a lot in this one i have a feeling as uh, somebody's in the barrier on the right hand side at turn one though public sessions Back to green, he's waved me through but decided to still continue accelerating.
spotted him dawdling. I don't think he heard me, but he moved to one side going up the ramp, and I was able to get past. Round the outside of another one through top pits bend there. But out come the yellow flags. So I'm unable to get past COP17 at this stage. Back to green and we seem to have caught a queue of carts as well. As we go past 17, past 10, <laughs> and find our way through a heck of a lot of traffic, even around the outside of the final one. That was great. Great fun to do, and yeah, just felt great. It turns out someone else agreed as well, as I'm shown the nice move board by James there. I got caught out by cart 5 there as he broke a little earlier than I was expecting and then I saw the flags change as well and then it was a bit chaotic. No incidences, no contact. A quick yellow, quick to green and I'm straight back to yellow again. Unfortunately, just as I was preparing myself to line up to pass cart five down this little straight. It was soon back to green again, but I've had nowhere to go. I'm having to now sit behind him. Keep an eye on the driver of car 4 here. Tune for the way that he's driving. We'll come back to him a little later on. We get another red flag. I've decided to stay back. I'm not getting involved in that group. Pull the switch back and got the pass completed before we even get to the breaking point of the hairpin. <laughs> I'm watching these two up in front, they're having a bit of a fight, but we've gone to reds and they're not paying any attention. We go to greens as we start lap number seven. Whilst the driving is not great, cart number 11 does seem to be going rather quickly. And we're going to catch back up 
to that cart number four. Watch the driver as he's leaning in to every corner, completely the wrong way. You want to be leaning out of the corner because you want the outside tyres to have the grip. Cars 11 gets bored, sat behind cart four and goes for the outside round the top. And this is why I just stay away from anyone in public during these sessions as they decide to have an intimate moment, one on top of the other. I stay away from public through that back section for things like that. But I am now determined that I will just pass this driver in car 11 on this lap. He goes ahead and makes it nice and easy for me when he panics on the brakes. Unfortunately, of course, that does bring out a big red flag. Back underway once more, this lap's ruined. Hopefully, lap nine, we might just get a clear run. It'd be nice to get one more clear lap. I've got traffic, but as long as the flags stay green, I don't mind that much. <laughs> Unfortunately, I get really caught out by car 10. It's a slow start, but if we stay green, I might be able to make up and at least do another 59 second lap. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. This car had spun on the inside there. I spotted the marshal didn't want to be sliding too far out. And as I tapped the brakes, the car has just gone onto a little slide. We're all good. I didn't hit the marshal. Didn't hit the barriers he was standing on either. And we're soon released to yellow flags. Had I known lap two was going to be my only fast lap, I would have walked the tyres coming out of the second hairpin, trying to avoid that understeer. We're on the yellow flags, it is the chequered flag being waved though. You've already seen that cart with the orange suited driver come flying up to us. And we're going to see a bit more of them as they try again to come around the outside. It may be the chequered flag, but there is no reason to be passing, no matter how slow the members of the public are going. It's a yellow flag, you should be sitting behind them. That's the end of session 1.5. We've got the original group again. They were much better than this group were. It's the way it goes with public sessions though. I did spend £8.50 on this one, kind of regretted it, but it was a laugh anyway, wasn't it? We got to run around, run up the stairs, change the carts. I'm sure it makes a good video, maybe? Let's jump out for session two. Session two, on my outlap, I've already decided this cart has no pace. The two carts ahead, I should have been on pace with, and I'm just not. They are disappearing just in a straight line, so this car need swapping out if I want to be having any decent lap times on this session. So I'm slowly making my way around, conscious of the fact that I am going to try and get into the pits, so I'm not going to be passing car 20, raising my hand, and I've spotted Lucy at the last second saying, go round, go round. Unfortunately, it was too late. I'm sorry, Lucy. She's had to get up from what she was doing and move another car then come and move this fuel bowser so that I could come in. Well, 
she wants me to jump into part 11. That's fine, I'll take that one. Go over, jump in the car, set the pedals how I like them, go to move the seat forwards to where I need it, and unfortunately, it won't move. Lucy's pushing from behind, I'm trying to slide it forwards. It seems to have got caught on the left hand side. Sometimes the seats just kink slightly and then refuse to move. Lucy gets me to jump out. She's gonna try from this side. She's gonna push from the back, kick from the back. Try and get it to move. I just want it to move forward to one more hole and that'll be right for me. Just gonna give it one more kick. It's not happening. I'm gonna take car 16 instead. Probably the sensible option. We're already two minutes into this lap. Set the pedals right. Move the seat. Thankfully, this one moved, and off I go. Thankfully, it's just a public session and not a GP2 event where I need to do a cart change during the race. That would have been. A disaster. Lap one completed. Under three minutes, it was quicker than the previous session's pit stop. So now we're just going to hope that we get some clear runs and I can actually set some decent times for once. This session, like the first one, does have more members on it than the second session did. I think it was only me on that second one. So once again, if they get clear runs, clearer runs than I get, and or faster carts, then I don't think I'll be coming high up the tables once again. But I'm not too bothered by that. I'm more concentrating on just having some fun and passing people at speed. And a couple of 59 second laps have set me up nicely, mid 58s, and I'll be even happier though, as always. Another reason I actually chose this particular day to book this public session was I'd had messages saying, this was a Tuesday, I'd had messages on the Monday saying, new track record, the carts are all really rapid at the minute. Turns out they're not. They've been detuned Monday night. Great. So everyone setting 57, 56s, and the new track record I think was the 55.8, 
I came over expecting to at least jump in a fast car even if I didn't have a fast session and was quite disappointed. They were okay, I'm not saying they were slow, we weren't doing over one minute with knee driving. If I can do a 55, uh, sorry, a 58.5, then it's an okay cart. Anything more than that, and it's a quick cart as far as I'm concerned. But a 58.7 I've done, so this is an okay cart. Fifty-eight point three, perfect. That's exactly where I would expect to be in an average cart on a what is quite frankly a reasonably quick public session. As I say, for a public session, this one is doing remarkably well. We've not had a single incident while I've been driving around the track. There was a couple of flags, I think, possibly while I was in the pits. But that was about it. With the traffic slowing them down, I'm now catching the two drivers who I'd used earlier on on my outlap to determine that my car was slow. I'm now catching them as they've been held up by traffic and we're going to have a bit of fun if I can catch them at all. But first, I'm going to have to make my way past a minion. It's time for Anton to appear on camera. Cart 17. Let's see what he can do. Nicely found, found a way through the traffic there. And yeah, he seems to be keeping up with the other two. They're pulling away ever so slightly, but not that much. Nicely brave up the inside there, and I do something I never do. Pass someone on that top corner. He's had a slide coming out of the ch chicane through the bottom there. He's now realised it's me behind him, and he's going to do everything he can to try and stop him.
the Tilly Race, but it's through for turn two. My car was very slow coming out of turn one. It's not the greatest, and his was clearly quicker. Now it's time to try and catch the other two, see if I can. Looks like they're having quite an enjoyable battle, and I'm slowly catching up to them. I've now caught up and unfortunately I've seen the marshal bend down to pick up the checkered flag at the top there. I'm expecting these lights to go yellow anytime soon, but I know this is probably the final time lap. There were those yellow flags just before the end. A quick hit at the steering wheel because I wanted to enjoy some of this battle myself. Number 12 clearly enjoyed it. That's it for this public session. That's it for this visit. Public session. I'm going to say it one last time. As always, thank you so much for joining me on my go-karting adventures. If you've enjoyed this video, it's a different type of session for, to what I've been doing a lot recently where I was doing more member events than anything else. If you've enjoyed this one especially, please do give it a thumbs up and leave some feedback down below in the comments. Again, I was only fifth fastest with a 58.3 thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel and if you'd like to see these videos early maybe consider joining the channel membership for just one pound a month you get these videos hold 24 hours before anyone else the next video is actually going to come from coventry as i start the process of practice events at coventry for the ikc regional finals which of course you've already seen or at least i hope you've seen until then, though, cheers.